going on there YouTube new project time I know things have been a little slow on the channel this summer it's just hot I don't have air conditioning in my shop so uh, I've been working with Banggood just doing reviews and drives of things and uh, yeah I haven't really gotten to do a whole lot of building but I've got three big things coming I've got one complete build and one video coming soon it's a sponsored deal with a big company and uh, hopefully it gets announced here pretty soon the second build is this one and this is gonna be a collaboration with Nightcrawlers 3D and Pro Air RC and the third one is gonna be another custom scratch build but something a little different and uh, that's a collaboration with uh, Westmade if you haven't checked out his channel I'll put a link in the description uh, he's made he makes bodies from scratch he's a styrene builder and uh, he is very good at what he does <laughs> so uh, we kind of worked together and come up with a build and he was gonna do the body and I was gonna do the chassis and uh, that should be here this week and we can get to start working on that as well so this build, this is something me and uh, Nightcrawlers 3D have been talking about as long as we've known each other for over a year or so. I've always wanted a rat rod hauler. And he's had this bed designed for a while. And uh, just I didn't know what cab to put on it, what, what kind of truck. It needed to be something cool and old. And uh, he's got these Apache, it's like a 58, 59 Chevy Apache truck uh, bodies. And I uh, thought that would be kind of fitting. It's a little bit newer than the rat rods, so it'd kind of go with it. But uh, the the good folks at Pro Air RC, as soon as I saw their stuff on Instagram, I started messaging. And uh, I was trying to get involved and, and want to be a part of that, because that's right up my alley. That you know, We've got the number three rat rod back there, and it's fake bagged with uh, servo suspension and stuff like that. But their setup is actually air. It's actually an air ride system. It's smooth, slow, and steady, and it still gives you suspension. So that is on its way. It's not here yet. I just ordered it Friday. Finally got a, enough money to make it happen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this thing is going to be wild. So uh, let's talk about this body. Um, it's, in, it's printed in multiple pieces. We have back of cab, the main cab and roof, the front end fenders, firewall, the hood is two pieces, the front uh, grill is a piece, we have an actual grill insert, and uh, I've got a tailgate, he gave me a bed as well, <clears throat> the bed is beautiful, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry it's been a while since I've talked on camera, <laughs> but the, uh, the bed, I don't know, I, it looks awesome with the truck cab, it would be really cool to do a, a lowered or like a drift truck build with that body but uh, I'll probably I'm, I'm thinking I might make a trailer out of the bed because it is it is really pretty and it's it's actually very well printed it has a bed floor inside details it's got the molding down the side fleet side printed into it it's actually really really nice piece so I'm thinking maybe a trailer build on that I even got a tailgate for it <laughs> But this, this cab has to go with this bed. So this thing is huge. Let me find my tape measure and I'll tell you. We worked on the size because I wanted it to be able to haul this number two rat rod. This is my longest one. Uh, most likely the gasser will be on it most of the time because you know, you haul your race car to the drag strip back in the day on stuff like this. So we're at 21 and a half inches long and not a good place to measure it. Or a little over nine inches wide. It's printed in three pieces and it has ramps for the rear that slide in the pockets. He did an awesome job coming up with that and uh, making it all work. It's got some spots for some marker lights and things of that nature. So let me get the number two off of here and I can show you a little more detail. All right, so up here on the cab, we've got the chrome spear. It says, oh, what is it? Apache. <laughs> Um, this one's going to need a little bit of work. It's going to be 
is we got it, it's so large he couldn't print it in, in one giant piece so we've got to do some work smooth out some of the texture here and there the roof but it's it's doable i have seen a lot of these now folks are uh, making rock crawlers and stuff out of them um, the grill figure out a way to put some lights in there it's already got holes made uh, the hood does open I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that function because of the Pro Air RC kit and the way it's gonna sit we're gonna have to do some pretty trick stuff with the suspension um, I've got a tire in there about this size right now I uh, might have to go a little smaller in the front I do want this to be a dually it obviously would have been in in the real life so we'll probably just go with the regular roadie semi truck tires not sure about wheels yet um, I really don't know what direction that needs to go I think uh, like a plain steel wheel but I think we're definitely gonna have to add some age to them don't want it to be too pretty but um yeah I, I love that body style of truck one challenge I do for C is the windows we're gonna have to make some windows from some thin Lexan and that front windshield wrap around and the rear window as well this is a big back window model it's gonna be a challenge to uh, fit some some Lexan in there and wrap it and make it look good all around but uh yeah <laughs> let's go take a look at the bed the white showing up on the camera here um, it's got details printed in three pieces we've got the front end the main section and then the tail with the ramps we've got some uh, storage compartments they're non-functional um, we talked about making them open but I'm really not sure how much space I'm gonna have inside with the air setup um, the way it sounds that's a, kind of a big unit it's not huge it's like a little box for the compressor and the tank and stuff so we'll just have to uh, see about that but it's big <laughs> um, printed really nice came out really smooth with the rounded edges on the front I, I like it. It's sleek. It's not too tall. Even with the rat right up there, it doesn't stick up too much above the cab. I think it's going to be the, the right look. It's too hard to move the whole thing, so I'll just bring the uh, ramps over here. So he made these nice, solid, solid printed ramps. They hook onto a lip up there, and it keeps the same angle as the bed all the way down. And then there's little tabs that hold them in. Um, we talked about, I thought about making some metal ramps, but those, uh, those actually look pretty good and they're pretty solid so um, yeah I'm just kind of introduction on this video I'm not gonna do any work just yet because I'm, I need the suspension parts I've got to get my axles together find tires and wheels I've got the metal for the frame so we can start really looking at all that so uh, yeah I'm gonna leave this one here and uh, look forward to more of this build to come I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it scale. Thanks for watching.